poor little Rudy Giuliani still in his heart of hearts believe that Donald Trump will eventually one day take care of him and reward him for his loyalty. Now, Rudy Giuliani has been a very loyal Trump supporter. In fact, the most loyal Trump supporter since Donald Trump first descended that escalator to announce he was running for president. Rudy Giuliani has been abused by Donald Trump. He has been demeaned in court. He's still at risk of losing his law license. He has faced criminal investigations. He is facing a defamation lawsuit. The man has been put through the ringer by Donald Trump and for standing with Donald Trump and for doing Donald Trump's bidding. And he's literally gotten nothing out of it from Donald Trump. Even in the early days, Trump refused to appoint him to secretary of state, which is the position that Rudy Giuliani wanted. Oh, and by the way, last we heard Trump still hasn't paid Rudy Giuliani the legal fees that he owes him. But in spite of all of that, in spite of all the abuse, in spite of all the personal turmoil, in spite of not having his legal bills paid, Rudy Giuliani is somehow still optimistic that Trump is going to appoint him to a powerful position if he retakes the white house in 2024 during an interview with Steve Bannon this week, Steve Bannon asked Giuliani, you know, point blank, like, Hey, would you accept this position? Here's how that conversation transpired. Steve Bannon says, I'm pretty upfront about this. I'm the biggest single advocate that Rudy's got to be the secretary of state in the second Trump term. Are you open to serve as secretary of state in the second Trump term? Bannon asked. Giuliani says, oh, I shouldn't ask for a job now, right? <laughs> the boss would get angry. I'm willing to do what I have to do though. Bannon responds, if you're asked, would you serve as secretary of state? And do you think you could do the job that needs to be done right now? The secretary of state needs to do. Giuliani said, I would be open to it because I really believe I could straighten it. In part, I ran for president because I thought I could straighten out the state department. I think it's the agency of government, even beyond the FBI that needs to be straightened out first because it's us to the world. So you're still optimistic that Donald Trump is going to appoint you to this very powerful position, secretary of state, even though you were already technically kind of up for the job and Trump looked at you and said, <laughs> no, oh my God, are you kidding this guy? Eek. And your reputation has only gotten worse since then. Like literally Rudy putting this out into the ether only hurts Donald Trump right now. Like if you've got even a couple conservatives out there on the fence about whether they want to support Donald Trump or not, and then they're like, oh, he wants to put the guy with the melting hair in charge of the state department. Like, no, like that's a deal breaker. I'm not going to put Mr. Melty head out there as the, basically the representative of the United States to the rest of the world. That would be nuts. So I'm not going to support Donald Trump now. That's how badly damaged Rudy Giuliani's reputation is. And that's just as of today. He's still facing the Dominion defamation lawsuit. He is still facing the legal repercussions of his phony election challenge lawsuits that could get him disbarred. So we could have a man that's on the hook for $1.3 billion in defamation lawsuits that loses his law license in the state department. And I wonder at that point, will Trump finally pay the legal bills that he owes to Rudy Giuliani or not? Like Rudy, what are you even thinking, man? You could have just not done any of this and you would have gone down as one, a failed presidential candidate only because you brought it up, but you still would have been America's mayor. The guy that got us through nine 11, a hero in the eyes of a lot of Republicans in this country. But instead you chose to go along with Trump. You became a laughing stock. Trump betrayed you and didn't pay the bills that he owed to you but you still somehow think he's going to give you a really great job to cement your legacy. Keep dreaming, bud. Never going to happen. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button. 
and help Aspen oh. not be so grumpy.